Hey everyone, Morgan here. So I am here doing a very quick review of the Survivor Filter uh, backpack system, like the her, the day pack system. I love this backpack so far, but today is going to be the first time that I'm actually officially testing it out on a, on a little excursion. So um, I'm going to show you what's in here now. So what I love about this bag, first of all, is that it has some nice uh, molly on the outside. So um, you know, you can put some stuff on the outside. It's pretty easy. Um, what I also like is that it has a bunch of pockets and stuff. So, you know, this can clip here and you can tighten this. Uh, like if there's not a whole lot here, just tighten it down. So it's not so like bulky and whatever. Um, but it has a lot of pockets. Uh, I have, you know, my wallet and stuff in this main compartment here. Uh, you know, stuff I don't want to get to real quick. This next one, next pocket, I have the Survivor Filter uh, bottles. The actual little canteens is what they call them. And uh, so I have to put um, water in once it's purified and I'll show you my purification. I have some random paracord and then this is my everyday carry uh, Maxpedition bag that I always have with me. It has like fire starting stuff and stuff like that. I have some food stuff. It's just for a day excursion, so I don't have a lot of stuff. You know, uh, trail mix and things. And then the main compartment here, which this opens pretty much like all the way. Not all the way, all the way. I mean, kind of, pretty much. Like this opens big, you know, so you can really see your stuff in there, which is nice. It opens up nice and big. Uh, I just have a couple things. Um, I have this is the actual Survivor filter. This is the Survivor filter Pro. I decided to bring this um, because you can actually pump the water uh, into those little canteens that I was showing you earlier, or you can pump them into the bladder that's attached here, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, and then I have my Shamog. Uh, but yeah, not not too much. Again, this is just a day hike, but it's got a lot of space, as you can see. Uh, so it could really fit like a lot of stuff. And then in the very back here, we have the bladder, which pulls out. The one thing that's kind of annoying is the Velcro here. Because even when you undo it, it's still like, you know, Velcro comes together. Anyway, so it's got a nice big bladder. It's a two liter, I think, yeah. So I've got that full with water right now. That's big bladder. And that goes in the very back. So, you know, it's not taking up space here in these pockets. It's all the way in the back here. The straps are nice and padded, not overly padded, just padded enough. The back is really nice and padded. I've already put it on a few times. It is so, it's pretty comfortable so far. I'll let you know the verdict here in a little bit. Um, and then this, it took me a second to figure out how to actually use this. Uh, like how to get the water out but uh you just let's see you turn it that way the water comes out you turn it this way no water comes out so it's pretty nice i think you can turn it this way too and the water comes out so it's not too difficult and just like any good backpack should have it has the chest strap and it has the waist strap so it's pretty nice uh that it has both of those options so there it is as you can see it is on me right now. Ooh. So, yeah, we're gonna go test it out now. My overall first impressions of this backpack is fantastic. I really, really like it. It was super comfortable to walk around in. I walked for about two hours with this backpack on me permanently and it felt great, felt great. The one downside about this backpack is the camelback, uh, this, this part, I'm not sure what this is called, but it is so hard to suck out of this. It like doesn't give you any water whatsoever. It's not a high flow at all and that's very disappointing. I just have to like, I get little dribbles every time I try to suck through it. So it's pretty unfortunate. This is the only downside of it. <sighs> I have to work extra hard to get the water out. It sucks, I don't like it. 
Otherwise, it's a super great backpack. I love it. And uh, I definitely highly recommend it as a general backpack. You can use your own bladder in it if you want. You don't have to use the Survivor Filter one, but as the backpack itself, highly recommended. And uh, I will give an update when I use this a little more often. But otherwise, first impressions, pretty great. So uh, thanks so much for watching. See you later. Bye.